My name is Patrick Lejean. I am the general manager at the Oyster Rock in Calabash, North Carolina. We specialize in seafood, but we're very much a contemporary American restaurant. We feature oysters, of course. I have baked oysters, steamed oysters, fried oysters, raw oysters, really any way that you can think to prepare them, we make happen. A lot of our oysters come as close to home as possible. In the summertime, we'll get farmed raised oysters from Everett Bay, Topsail Island, uh, Wilmington area. We focus on fresh seafood. So our fish is coming off the shores of the Carolinas. Uh, we do a from the dock special, which is our uh, featured fish of the day. And that could be anything from local red grouper, black grouper, uh, spotted grouper, to American red snapper, wahoo, mahi, um, golden tile fish and queen trigger fish are two of the unique ones that we'll have from time to time depending on the season. Other menu items, we do hand trimmed steaks here, filet mignon, uh, strip, we do what's called a Kansas City strip, uh, and I have a pork chop, a bone-in heritage hog pork chop that'll blow your mind. My executive chef, his name is Kevin Caulfield. Uh, he's been with us since day one. He has certainly uh, been a vital part of this program. His, uh, his knowledge throughout the years has really been able to shine in this restaurant, especially with the environment that we have, the level of food that we're serving, um, and the freshness of the product that we can bring in, you know, being in the Carolinas. History actually goes uh, back a, a a long way. Uh, we are part of the Callahan's group. So the uh, Callahan's of Calabash, the gift shop up at the end of the street here in Calabash, uh, opened up for 30, 40 years now. And we are the third restaurant in, in their secession. Uh, the Boundary House and here in Calabash and Clark's are two of our sister restaurants. The history of Calabash itself goes back very far. And for us, we wanted to bring an eclectic menu into the area. We wanted to do something a little bit different, but we certainly didn't want to turn our noses in the air. Fried seafood is what Calabash is known for, and that dates back years to when they used to pull shrimp right out of the Calabash River and fry it in lard in a cast iron tub over an open flame right here where this building actually stands. So for us, we wanted to hold on to the history, we wanted to hold on to the heritage, but, but really bring our menu into the present time. To tie a lot of the restaurant together, in one of my dining rooms, we actually have Japanese buoys that they used to use uh, to harvest oysters. So it's a glass buoy that would sit on top of the on top of the water, it would connect to the sea floor, and the oysters would actually grow onto the rope all the way down. So they'd have a diver go down, disconnect it, pull it onto the boat, and remove all the oysters from the rope. And what's great is their colors, their different sizes, they hang at different uh, lengths, and it just brings, it kind of ties that whole old, new oyster theme into the restaurant itself. The bar countertops are a concrete composite that have oyster shells inlaid into them. Uh, certainly unique for a bar top, but of course, oyster rock, bring it all together. And uh, we're one of the first restaurants in the area to have an extensive craft beer menu. I have 24 beers on tap, uh, another 10 craft beers in the can that we offer upstairs and down the dock. I gotta say it, but the urinals in the men's room are actually kegs, previously used kegs that uh, we had cut out. <laughs> and it kind of ties that beer theme in with uh, the rest of the place. Down on the dock space, uh, we have what's called the oyster pit, where we're actually steaming all of our oysters. So uh, we serve oysters in two sizes, by the peck or the half bushel. Um, they cook to the temperature that you would like. Uh, some like them dry, which is they're opened and easily to access, and some like them wet, where they're still moist inside and you gotta work a little bit for your food. It's the same principle as a, a Maryland crab feast or a Louisiana crawdad boil, where it's really about gathering with friends, getting a little dirty, having a cold beverage, and um, in this case, eating oysters. The dock itself also includes a full liquor bar. Uh, I've got a couple beers on tap down there. Of course, everything in the can and bottle. Uh, we have a frozen drink machine and uh, wines by the glass and a specialty cocktail menu down there also. 
Got about 75 seats down there that face the water, gorgeous setting, either waiting for a table or post-meal. I uh, have a lot of folks that go down and enjoy a beverage as the sun is setting. And then I have 100 feet of dock space, floating dock space. So boats all summer long, uh, in and out, uh, docking up, tying up. We will be starting uh, live music Fridays and Saturday nights down the dock. Uh, perfect place for a small one two piece band to come in play a little bit of music and for you to just kind of hang out and have a beverage enjoy some oysters we certainly cater to a lot of tourists in the summertime uh, but our uh, base our local base has been really great to us over the last two years you know it comes down to it I don't want people to think that we're just a seafood restaurant because of the, the, the land lover options that we do offer we have a lot of people in the area that are excited about uh, new offerings on a menu other than just uh, the traditional uh, pieces that have been available here in Calabash. We take reservations. Uh, we just signed up with Open Table not too long ago, so you can go online, make a reservation through Open Table or through the website at theoysterrock.com. Um, also through our Instagram and Facebook page now, you can make a, a reservation as well. Both of those are at the Oyster Rock.